This is Anna, and this is another one of our Compassion Works for All videos. And for you kids that have been with us before, this is our friend Bo. And he is so excited because he is going out for a walk on this beautiful winter afternoon. He's looking at the water and running around exploring and sniffing and we're down here by the river and just having a beautiful afternoon walk and one of the things that i remembered as we came down here with Bo is that he has had some difficult experiences around water and different experiences with life. Difficult times. And of course that reminds us that everybody everywhere has had difficult times. There isn't anyone anywhere who hasn't had some difficult times in their life including Bo. One of the things that happened to Bo was when he was a tiny little puppy. He was born amongst all of his little brothers and sisters and his mom. And he was very, very happy. And played with his brothers and sisters. And then one day, somebody came and took him away and took him to their house. And he missed his brothers and sisters and getting to play with them. And he felt very sad to be all by himself. And at this house, there were some children that were a little too rough with him. And he was um, not so happy because those children didn't learn how to treat a puppy. And he wondered about what is he going to do? to get away from these children that were too rough. And then lo and behold, one day the dad at this house took him to the dog pound. And then he was locked in a cage. I guess they decided, and maybe it was a good decision, that keeping a puppy that was that little was not the right thing for their family. But there he was now, locked in a cage at the dog pound and all by himself. He didn't have his brothers and sisters or his mom. He didn't have the family that at least he'd gotten to know. And he felt abandoned and alone and wishing that he had a safe place to call his home. Well, one day, Kathy, who's sitting here with him at the picnic table, came through the dog pound and she had a class of children with her that she teaches and there was Bo. And she saw Bo and she fell in love with him. And I remember that day she went home and asked her family if they would like to have Bo come and live with them. And everybody said, yes, they did. They wanted Bo to come home with her. And then they were hoping and hoping that nobody else went to the dog pound and picked up Bo. And sure enough, early the next morning, 
She went over there with all the kids in the family, and there was Bo, and he recognized her, and he was all excited. So they took Bo home. And now it's many, many years later, and most of the children are almost grown up, and he's lived with them for a long time. And so he finally had his wishes come true. But just like you or anybody that sometimes goes through difficult times, we think back and we remember the scary times and we remember the hard times and we may even have a little nervousness or fear that comes back up. I was going to tell you about the water story and this is a story that woke, wakes Bo up at night at his house, they have a swimming pool in the backyard. And one day, he was out in the backyard and he went to get a drink of water and he fell into the swimming pool. And they didn't have any of the ladders up and he couldn't get out. And he just did the dog paddle around and around and around the swimming pool trying to pull himself up over the edge and it wasn't until maybe an hour later that one of the children in the house heard him barking and went outside and pulled him out of the water. So he was saved and he's okay but he remembers that scary time too. He also gets scared of thunderstorms. The reason I'm sharing all of these stories of scary times is because when you have memories of scary times, like Bo does, and they come back and maybe wake you up in a bad dream, one of the things you can do is remember how safe and secure you are with your family and people that love you now. So even if you've had scary times in the past, focus on now and what helps you feel safe now and knowing that that safety is inside of you. And then you can imagine just letting all those memories go just let them evaporate out into space. So you breathe in and you remember how safe and secure you are with people that love you. And you breathe out and you let go of memories. You let go of bad times. You let go of the scary times. Some of you, though, may have scary times going on in your house right now. If that's true for you, find somebody who'll help you. If it's a teacher at school or somebody else in your family, find somebody you can sit down and talk to and tell them of the scary times so that they can help you find a way to be safe at your house. So we've had a nice walk with Bo, and you've gotten to see him out having fun, and to see him with his Kathy, who he loves and who loves him, and a family that keeps him safe, and to know that he is just as happy as you are looking out this evening at this beautiful sunset, this pretty place, and just remembering that all that's beautiful and safe you can keep inside. Come back and see us again any time.